so like I said in my last video that, um, anorexia, when it comes to eating disorders, anorexia is, uh, know now that there's a heavy genetic component and there's biological factors as there is in bulimia and in binge eating disorder. I'm only going to talk about the three um, because I really want to get into the correlation with trauma and eating disorders. And I might have to do this in a three-part video here. But when we look at anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa, and binge eating disorder, BED, BED, uh, there's over 50% of people who get diagnosed with an eating disorder also have CPTSD and PTSD and trauma, emotional abuse, psychological abuse, neglect, bullying, teasing, sexual abuse, physical abuse from their childhood in their past somewhere or traumatic event of some sort. Um, it's huge. Now, this is why, because CPTSD can lead to borderline personality, you see a high correlation with eating disorders and BPD as well. Eating disorders have nothing to do with food at all. They're maladaptive coping strategies to deal with trauma and an unsafe environment and CPTSD, complex trauma. So they find coping strategies that are not neurotypical. It really has nothing to do with food. Trust me, every single person who has an eating disorder loves food just like the average person. It has nothing to do with not liking food. It goes way beyond that. And there's anxiety and depression that are linked, right? As well. So these are also co-occurring with people who have eating disorders. This is why the sociological condition conditioning or our conformities that have been what they've been for so long now and the unrealistic pressure is so risky for people who are genetically predisposed to eating disorders because people who wind up with eating disorders don't always have to have trauma. It's like a person with borderline. They don't have to have trauma. There's genetic components here. But when we've got society putting all this unrealistic, stupid pressure on people, this is a, a, a driving force and one of them. Now, I'm going to have to do this in another video, but let's just start with anorexia and think about the anorexic. They're controlling their environment by not eating. I know it sounds messed up, but their environment is so chaotic and they've come from so much trauma and chaos that they've learned something that they can control that nobody else can. It's also a form of self-punishment. And this will fall in line with somebody who has borderline personality because it's a form of self-harm. When they're feeling shame and emotional dysreg dysregulation, they will find ways to cope by not eating or starving themselves in order to feel better. Stay tuned for part two on bulimia.